Dead skates aren't flammable, are they? Uh, I don't know. Guess we'll find out. I was gonna build kind of like an underwater Atlantic city, but it seems we're gonna have to put that on hold because the farm we need for it is freaking expensive. Yes. Uh, yeah. I've lost. I, I've lost hope and ability to work. You want to just see where Atlantis is, and we can just kind of peck at it from time to time? Yeah, sure. Alright. Like I said, not much yet. Just the floor plan. Which isn't even finished and needs to expand, but it's all white concrete. That's all white concrete? Yep. Oh, dang. Yep. Wow. Well, we do have a fuck ton of sand. Not too much gravel. Dude, gravel is everywhere. I had to dig out a ton of gravel for this. A long time since the last recording session, but we've almost got the farm finished. Starlog. I'm trying to get these idiots to die a little bit so I can work on the bottom here. Because, oh, there we go. One of them got stuck on the roof. Perfect. So I've been trying to complete this ring around the outside so we catch every last one of them, huh. that, so they can't I, uh, swim outside of the farm. I can't it is pretty get all the experience. Hmm? Do you have like one wood or one regular stone I can use as a button? A button? Um, yes. I think I dropped. Yeah, I dropped everything off at base. Oh yeah, I started on a new, on a new room, and I did quite a bit of AFK at the fish farm with a. Fishing rod that I was given. Cheaty shiz. But it worked really well. I've got Cheaty. I've got two uh, conduits in my chest not being used currently, so I don't want to hear it. Cheaty shiz. It's a game mechanic. It's not cheating. It's cheating. It's a glitch in the game, and you know it. It's not. It's a just glitch. beneficial, so you ignore it. It's not a glitch. It's an intended game. It's mechanic. taking advantage. Of a skeevy little tactic. Oh, do you want your, uh, where are you? Uh, I'm right on the edge of the, of the farm. I'm not sure which edge, though. I mean, I've just kind of been going I mean, around quickly. I oh, need to get I, your spawn did I just finish spawn. it? I just finished the ring. Nice. Except for the front, of course, but that has some work to be done anyway. Where does that ring go? Hmm? Sorry, oh. erroneous. Oh dear. Dude. <laughs> oh, okay, thank god. I thought you were driving them into the, oh, uh... Into the wall. Nope. Where are you? I'm underneath. I'm working on the entrance. Okay, meet me under it, please. I need to give you your shit back before I leave. Oh dear. And I am dying quickly. <laughs> Why are you dying? I have... Because I don't have that much armor on. <laughs> Uh, sponges. I'm throwing you dry sponges in the water. They shouldn't get wet, because Minecraft. And glass. Only two glass, but... Oh wait, give me that back! Did you Sponge. patch that door? Uh, I think so. Oh, okay. Never mind, you can keep the glass. Yeah. Oh dear. Dang. Not again. Oh, stop that. Okay. Oh dear, that's a lot of them. Okay, let's see if I can lead them into the bubble streams and pin them to the roof. Oh Thank dear, you. that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. If you want a potion of invisibility, I can set one. Yeah, I would love a potion of invisibility. Thank you, Ross. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay, uh... Was I close to lava? I If I had a nickel, lost my shit in the end. I'd have two, but I'm really sad. You lost all your stuff? Because it says you withered well, away. Maybe. Yeah, I was at the nether fortress. Oh, so much shit is on the edge. And the edge leads to nowhere. Hell yeah, okay. Doesn't look like any of it's down there. Dang. There are a lot of pigment on top of the tunnel. 
All right, you said you had some uh, invisibility potions at your at your base. I said I could queue them up for you, but they won't. Okay. <laughs> they won't take very long, so feel free. Almost dipped into lava. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 Thank you, sir. Did you just drink my water? You think that's free? You better suck a lot of dick in the next 10 seconds. <laughs> I have a ton of- I have <laughs> The chat log. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright. Thank you for visiting. Thank you for allowing me to I swipe- I can't believe you didn't know, know what Felatio was. Sounds like a name. Like Horatio. Whoa. Yeah, but Felate. Ah, uh, Horatio. I knew him well. Yeah? Um, or, alas, poor Horatio. I knew him well. I think that's the alas. quote. I'll have to put it on the screen. <laughs> hey, how much experience do you have? Uh, currently eight. I had 50 <laughs> earlier. But, you know, enchanting. And oh, repairing. I, that shovel I need is about to. And about to break. Six, oh yeah, and it takes like 16 levels just to put mending on for one diamond. Well, <laughs> which is you can always uh, if you have a single iron ore, go back to my base, go to the uh, to the uh, furnace that is the, like the blast furnace. Make mm. sure that the lever is turned into its on position behind it on the hopper and throw the iron in. Then once it's smelted, pull out the iron, and that might give you 16 levels. Cheating. It's not cheating, it's a freaking game mechanic, dude. <sighs> You're telling me to take level... Tell me what? Or is this one... Are you taking levels from the previous smelting? Uh... Or is this just gaining levels from the new thing that you're doing? It's gaining levels from previous smelting. Uh -huh. I haven't done that yet, although I'm definitely planning on it. Uh, okay. What we're uh, referring to uh, for those uh, watching is a uh, an experience farm based off of infinite smelting. I am working on immortal armor. What do you think for the for the helmet? I only have two bits so far, just helmet and boots. Boots, protection four, feather falling four, mending. Helmet, projectile protection four, fire protection two, unbreaking three, mending, feather falling four, and protection three. Well, it's definitely very good, but it's not god armor. Well, yours isn't either. No, it is not. However, it is very nice to have good armor like this. I know. I'm working towards it, though. I'm working towards it. Man, these invisibility potions are great. I can see why Ross was using them so much. Don't have to bother with all these freaking guardians. But I do wish there was some way to prevent myself from slowly sinking while I'm building. Alright, last couple blocks. Oh wow. I had two extra blocks. Alright. Behold our farm. We still have to dig the uh dig the area over there out, but that shouldn't be too big of an issue. Especially with invisibility on. Oh, apparently we didn't seal up the exit. Ross was right. Wow, just had a near-death experience. My potion of invisibility ran out, and these guys started hitting me. I forgot I wasn't wearing armor. So, uh, yeah, that was, that was interesting. Whew. Now I know how Ross feels. So, trying this thing out, it 
some of the XP tends to get stuck in the hopper, so I put some buttons here to let me get in and out quickly. I have noticed a bit of a difficulty here where uh, they'll knock you back into the elevator, so I've just kind of closing the closing the fence gates there. Oh, here comes another one. Take a look. Yeah, the pickaxe was about halfway broken when I came in here, so that's probably part of why my XP hasn't gone up too much, but, you know, one, I think two hits from my sword, yeah, it's gone. So far, I've done one killing and gotten that, so, although this is actually mine, I don't know how that got in there. Oh, apparently sometimes they drop cooked cod. Oh, it's if they're on fire, I bet. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Oh yeah, Ross has been working on a tunnel between our bases as well. I've been supplying the stone because, you know, silk touch. But it's been going quite well. If a little bit haphazard at the beginning. Speaking of, I should fix that really quickly. The buttons at the beginning of this tunnel have been really bothering me. Because the entire tunnel is like this, but then right around here somewhere it changes. Yeah, right here-ish. This is rather difficult with efficiency 4. Ooh, almost breaking the blocks under it. Yeah, mining in the nether is almost impossible with this thing because I break three blocks when I just click as fast as I can. So, that causes a couple problems. Oh, okay, I have to face this way. Got it. Thank you.